let's queer up entertainment. Sandra Bernhardt to close out Pride Month with performances in San Francisco. Sandra Bernhardt is an icon in the LGBTQ plus community. She is a comedian, singer, actress, and especially LGBTQ plus activist. Recently, she joined us for Unapologetically Queer to discuss her past as well as her all new live show, Spring Affair, which she will be performing at Feinstein's at the Nico in San Francisco on June 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And East Coast fans can catch her at the Town Hall in P-Town on July 28th. And dog loving yeah, audience, but they're household. gonna love this. Moment. But yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm really, I'm terribly disappointed in what Roseanne has become. I mean, I don't know why she would squander all of the incredible goodwill and brilliance that she you know, precipitated in, in our culture. I don't know. I, I don't get it. I don't know why she would do it. And I don't, I'm not really in touch with her anymore. So I, I don't, I don't know what the answer is, but it's terribly sad and disappointing. And it makes the, it sullies the experience because, you know, if, if, if I can say one thing about myself, I've been the kind of person who stayed on track my whole life and career. What I believed as a kid, I still believe now. And I can never imagine turning my back on my community, um, on the black community, on, on, on you know, just, just all the people who make this culture so rich and beautiful. I don't understand it. And it's, you know, it's very disappointing. Would you, would you be able to um, forgive the actions and the words and restart a relationship with Roseanne? Well, I don't think, I, I mean, I don't think at this point or this juncture I could be friends with her because I think she's still in that state of mind. I think she's in this very mad state of mind. And I don't really, I mean, it's not like I don't, it's not that I'm, I'm holding grudges or don't forgive her. I just... I can't be associated with people like that. I don't have time for it. And a lot of people might come through the other side, but I don't see that happening with her. So yeah. it's hard to, it's really hard to say, yeah, great. You know, come on back into the fold now that you've, you know, finally figured it all out. I don't think she has. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency, stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.